So hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can detect an obstacle using an Arduino and an ultrasonic sensor. So the principle is very simple. There are two pins on the ultrasonic sensor called the echo and the trigger pin. All right. The trigger pin is the output from where you will send a sound wave. Right. Whenever you give it a high pulse, it will send out a sound wave. Now, if there's an object in front of your sensor, the sound wave goes, hits the object and comes back. Now, when the sound wave comes back, the echo pin on your ultrasonic sensor becomes high, goes to a high state. All right. So now, depending upon how much time the echo pin took to come to the high state, we can calculate how far the object is. Right. That is the working principle. Now, let me show you how you have to make the hardware connection and then we'll move to the program. The ground and VCC pin of your ultrasonic sensor has to go into the ground and VCC pin of your Arduino, right? So the other two pins, echo and input, you can give to any pin you want. You have to change that accordingly in the program. I have given echo pin to pin number 7 and the trigger pin to pin number 8. So there are two terminals on the LED, the positive and the negative terminal. The positive terminal is the longer terminal of the LED, alright? Now the negative terminal is connected to ground of your Arduino and the positive terminal is connected to pin number 10 on your Arduino. So whenever you want to turn on the LED, you simply give a high pulse to pin number 10 and the LED will automatically turn on. And when you give a low pulse to pin number 10, the LED will turn off. Right? So that's it for the connections. Now we'll move to the program. So this is how the code looks like. We write int echo equals to 7 because the echo pin of your ultrasonic sensor is connected to the 7th pin of your Arduino. The trigger pin is connected to the 8th pin of your Arduino and the VCC pin of the LED, which is the longer terminal, is connected to pin number 10. Now, we declare the LED VCC pin as the output because we are going to send a high or low pulse. The echo pin is the input because we are going to receive a sound wave from there. Again, trigger pin is output and we write seal.begin9600 because we are initializing serial communication, right? The Arduino and the laptop are communicating to each other using serial transmission and the baud rate is 9600. Now in the loop, what we do is, we give a low pulse to the trigger pin, right? We turn it off initially. We give a delay of five milliseconds and then turn it high, right? When we turn it high, it's going to emit a sound pulse. So what we're doing is we emit a sound pulse then give a delay of 50 milliseconds and then turn it low again, right? Which means we're sending a sound pulse for 50 milliseconds, then we stop, right? Now we're stopping and waiting for the sound wave to come back, right? So the next, what we do is we initialize the variable called duration, which is equal to pulse in echo high. Pulse in is a function which checks how much time did a pin take to arrive at that state. So here it's basically checking how much time did the echo pin take to become high to come to the high state, right? That is the duration that the wave took to go and hit the object and come back. So now we print the duration. Now what we want to do is we want to convert the duration into the distance of the object, right? So that's pretty simple as well. So now we've got the duration of how much time did the echo pulse take to come to the high state, right? This duration is in microseconds. We want to convert that into centimeters, right? So the formula is pretty simple. So we take the duration and divide by 29 and divide by 2 again, right, to get the value in centimeters. And uh, what we're doing is we're running an if loop, if condition, if the centimeter is less than 10, which means if the object is less than 10 centimeters, we turn on the LED, right? We simply turn the positive terminal of the LED as high and the negative terminal of the LED is already in ground. So we don't need to touch that. If the object is not less than 10 centimeters, which means it's far away, then we give a low state to the positive terminal of the LED. So that's it, this loop gets executed again and again. Now you simply click on upload, make sure that the correct board is selected and the correct port is also selected to which your Arduino is connected. So there's a small correction over here, instead of printing the duration, we'll directly print the centimeter value, right? Because we don't need the duration. So I simply change the duration to centimeter and click on upload. So once it gets uploaded, it will say that done uploading and you can click on the serial monitor which is the top right icon and it will give you the centimeter value, right? So this is my ultrasonic sensor and the reading is saying 60 centimeters, right? So if I bring my hand close to it, you can see the value is coming down to 20, 10 and when the value is less than 10, the LED turns on and when I remove my hand, then the value goes up again. 
So that was it for this video guys. If you have any doubts or if you want to see some other project, uh, do leave that in the comments. And yeah, thank you for watching.